anyways, uh, we have had a major downgrade in graphics because I am now playing on the PlayStation version of the game. Uh, we're playing on an emulator, but I could not get any emulator but lowercase p s x to work. Uh, and it emulates everything exactly as it was originally. So no graphical upgrades, it looks like shit, but it actually looks the way I remember the game looking, so I actually kind of like it. Um, I got the stealth, I found a save game on the internet that I could use. I could not find my memory card for my actual PlayStation. To, I was going to capture it with my capture card, but that didn't work. Alright, I wanted to see this cutscene because it didn't work last time. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. They're not stealth. talking about me. There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Because, you know, you're not technically supposed to be playing through the game with stealth as far as the storyline is concerned. So yeah, they're not talking about me. Alright. We're gonna quickly get all the stuff we need to do. Alright. But yeah, uh, those emulators, I don't know why I couldn't get them to work properly with, you know, upping the resolution and all that. I tried a few different ones, and this is the only one I can get it to work properly. Most of the problems I was having was, was were with sound, and like, the sound syncing up with the video, and all kinds of annoying shit, I don't know. But this looks like the, the PlayStation version I remember, so... I'm cool with that. It looks exactly like I remember. It's also really dark right now, and I bet you can't see shit. Except for my stealth. In the corner. This is Meryl. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I know. Push the action button to drop down. Snake! The dark- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we get to actually see this cutscene. Hopefully I'll remember to edit all this shit, so... Yeah, you can kind of see the maggots by the, by the toilet. Who, who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the dark ones, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? 
We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Shit. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But... There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes, they cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? What's that? Hey! What happened? Dead. 
Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. <sighs> no. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Okay. While that was happening, uh, I had another problem with my microphone, so if you heard some clicking or noises, sorry about that. Meryl's beating the shit out of a guard right now. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. Uh, one second. Public. Publish. I forgot to publish that my uh, stream was live on YouTube. Okay. All this motion blur and shit in the cutscene. Don't move. Exactly like it was on the PlayStation. So you killed the chief, you bastard. No. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful! I'm no rookie! Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much! You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door! You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here! Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! Detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Well, fix my mic again.
Psycho Mantis. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psycho Mantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. One thing I noticed uh, about the PC version, you can't, there's none of this blur. He actually has underwear on the PC version. But, um. You, uh. Kind of, how do you say that? It's really low res asshole. Just have to talk directly into it like this. Uh, oh well. All right. Uh, do I need a ration? I do. I, I didn't get this one. Did I? No, I didn't. Cool. All right. Yeah, okay, level six door. We won't come back there until much later. No problem. So, yeah, my mic's fucking up a lot, but I think you can hear me right now because I'm talking directly into it, so whatever. I'll just go with this. Oh, hey, I should stop up. Alright, uh. There is. I'm sick. I can't remember. I've played this game so many times, but I forget where everything is. Yeah, if, there, if you're getting a lot of white noise from my microphone, I apologize. Uh, right, I want to go blow up these doors over here. Oh, you know what? I might as well blow them all up at once. Those ones just have items in them, but the one down here is where you actually have to go. One thing about this game is it upgrades the amounts you can hold. What? That one didn't go? Oh. Whoa. But yeah, it upgrades your, uh, your health, your carrying capacity, all that shit as you beat each boss. It's kind of annoying. I'd rather just have the full capacity. Alright, I want to 
want to check if the stream is that you can hear me because I don't I have no idea how wild my microphone's coming through. I'd rather just have the whole bad And there's a lot of white noise in there. How about that? Let's see. Test, test, test. Um, I don't know why. How about that? Let me see. Oh, shit. Ah, test, I don't test, know. test. Um, oh well, I don't know. I'm super quiet. Oh, now I'm loud. Fuck. This makes no sense, this fucking thing. It's my mixer, sorry about that. Uh... Alright. Now I'm like, way loud. Tests. Alright. Whatever. Oh fuck. Something with my mixer putting out the, uh... Phantom power. It's like it cuts out or something and... It doesn't provide as much... No idea why. Alright, uh... Let's put that on, but there's no use. Let's see... I think... Oh no, you go, go through this one and then there's two more. Oh, I know there's definitely that one. No, there's this one. Yeah. I want to see if you can do this. I think you can. It's been a while. Hey, you can look in. There's, there's Kenneth Baker. Alright, and in here... Uh, does that say four? Six. And this one... One of these is the camera, which I already have, because apparently the save file that I used already collected it on its playthrough but whatever all right um I forget do we use chaff in there no stun no nah, we're on easy this is gonna be simple anyways we're about to fight revolver ocelot first time you ever see him in this series and he's a super important character Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. I'm sorry if you heard a bunch of static. I'm Draw! sure you did. Alright. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming the lungs. Alright. I'm alive. Let's go. 
Reload, damn it. Oh, I'm out of fuck. No, I'll just come over here and chase him. Where's the ammo? Oh, right there. Oh shit. You better right. hurry up. The old Ooh. man's not gonna last. Okay. What was that? Don't you want to settle this? Hiding won't help you. I'm not hiding, I'm right in front of you, dude. Ammo again. This is it. I mean, I am playing on easy. It's really apparent. And they're not gonna give me any more ammo? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I okay. love the smell of this. Love the smell of what? What was that? But to you, it'll be the smell of your own. Alright, here we go. Fun cutscene. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. Yeah. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> oh. Ow. My hand. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That... That exoskeleton! I think you can hear me now, yeah. Can you talk? Sorry. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you want to shut me up! Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No. That woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? 
I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce Hello? the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level 2 doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome 
Soldier! <coughs> you know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi... You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no! Oh, no, it can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went in, did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too! I have no idea. Don't lie to me! It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but... We won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you.